was, there was social change going on right away because instead of introducing yourselves by your credentials, mm -hmm. you were introducing yourselves as who you are yeah. as human beings, which is very, very, very different. And you know something, when I think about it, I understand even more so why that made such a difference. Because what we subsequently mm -hmm. found out is that some of the women had been with therapists before. Exactly. They were not mm -hmm. their first experience. Mm -hmm. So I think that changed things um, for them. I think that was really important. Right. Right. Uh, and, and also, I, I'm sorry, also, also the fact that we were so, I, I think we were so authentic and grounded that it didn't seem you know, like, like mental health wasn't pathologized or anything like that. We were just talking about, you know, relationships with others, you know, with their spouses or children or, you know, stuff like that, their family members, you know, so thinking about that and talking about depression and talking about, you know, anxiety and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it was like psychoeducation, but at the same time, not pathologizing this stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. It was, it was really say all of us human beings struggle mm -hmm. with these same things exactly and let's talk about them together so mm -hmm. so different i'm thinking that you know yalom would turn over in his grave <laughs> <laughs> it was a very mm -hmm. very different approach <clears throat> right right and it kind of validates my sense that the you know the very um traditional psychodynamic Northern European style of therapy that I was trained in, where the therapist sits and, and makes cont eye contact, i.e. stares at the client, is very, very anxiety provoking and uncomfortable. Oh, absolutely. Clients of color. Mm -hmm. So you, you changed the whole, the whole kind of tone and environment culture of the group mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I, say that I think it was it was it was so amazing i absolutely love that group i absolutely love those women um but i think one of the things that to me was so amazing about it at, they respected glaceria and i as therapists they didn't it wasn't that they lost sight of that 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 was ever gone but we were able to create a space. I think that it felt like um, the way I think of us is like, like we were the aunties. And in, in, <laughs> yeah. black, in black culture, you know, the aunties are sort of like the elders that can give you advice, that type of thing. Um, and so, or, or almost like a sister group. And in, mm -hmm. and, and in order for those women to feel comfortable and safe, it couldn't feel like a therapy group. Mm -hmm. uh, because when they, and also it became so important, especially when they would talk about their experiences at work, these were all professional women. Mm -hmm. And so they did not need to leave and they all worked in white organizations. Mm -hmm. So they did not need to come into a space where here I go again, mm -hmm. let me put my mask on mm -hmm. and let me code switch and be a certain, a certain way. 